little low tech now. It's one bathroom, but two different ways. Kimberly Seldon is here. <laughs> audience. I know, right? We gotta talk about this beauty right off the top. So a freestanding tub is something a lot of people want in their life. Yes. It and just screams if, luxe. If you're a bath person, you're a bath person, right? I'm more of a shower girl, but oh, in my head no. I'm a bath girl. I'm a bath girl. That's what I want. I'm a bath girl. And uh, this one has a really good lean back, so you get yes. super comfortable. Victoria and Albert is um, it's a, a sophisticated brand. It's English cast, and it's made with something called volcanic uh, limestone resins, which oh. keep the heat in the tub better than cast iron and better than acrylic tubs. Oh, nice. So that's another thing too, you know, sometimes you fill it up and it gets cooler and cooler and cooler and right. you keep filling it up. So that's a really lovely factor. Um, and the, the bathtub, uh, we wanted to position it this way yeah. so we could show two different styles of bathrooms because some of us are contemporary, some are traditional. Yeah. And both bathrooms started with wallpaper. We went to Graham and Brown and we found this really fun kind of silver and gold. That's a big thing by the way, mixing silver and gold seems to be all the rage. We've done so much gray across the country that people are looking for ways to really warm it up and that combination works really well. Mm -hmm. So we've got a vanity from Ikea and instead of having a mirror over the vanity, we couldn't put a mirror there because I'm a vampire. <laughs> no, we couldn't put a mirror there because of the cameras in the studio. So we've got a beautiful piece of art. Yeah. Um, lovely um, vanity that you can purchase as is. So if you're looking for a fast, affordable way to fix up the bathroom, mm -hmm. boom, that's in, that's out. It's so simple. Right. You do want to still, if you're hiring a plumber, get a permit. Anytime you're using water, cover yourself and do it right That's and right. get a permit. Don't think you're going to save 50 bucks. It's not good. Right. Don't point, do it. The point I would think uh, for this segment is also to say that just because you've got a freestanding tub doesn't mean you have to go traditional. Because don't you yes. do, don't you think traditional? Well, it's funny the, when you think freestanding tub. The original tubs were those clawfoot Victorian yes. tubs. Definitely traditional. Yes. This one's super sexy and modern, so you might think it can only be contemporary. Right. But in fact, traditional has become more and more relaxed and more contemporary. Yes. So I think it's one of those pieces that truly is transitional and not many things are. Yeah. I also wanted to mention the faucets for the tub are also freestanding and that matters because if you bath alone you're going to put it where your feet are. Yeah. But if you bath with someone else, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, we're not judging, uh, you're going to put it in the middle of the tub so nobody's head is banging against right. it. Something to yes. think about if you're planning a romance. Some of you have done that before. <laughs> There's a girl in the audience rubbing her head and saying, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, okay. And then over here again, Graham and Brown, toal papers are really coming back. I've had the first time in, I don't know, 20 years, a client asked me specifically if I could do toal wow. in her house. So we thought this was kind of fun. It's kind of a lime color with lots of silver and gray. And this piece uh, is a found piece. This, this one we went to LT for. It's stunning. It would look beautiful in your living room or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when I'm doing a project, where the clients already have beautiful furniture will identify something that's in the living room that they're kind of tired of yeah. and we'll say why don't we put that in the powder room and we'll drop a sink into it nice and now it gets reused you see it differently you appreciate appreciate it differently so if you're thinking about something for your vanity that isn't the standard you know shaker doors that everybody's bored of consider a beautiful piece of furniture like this one the sink on top could either be a vessel that sits on top mm -hmm. if you want a taller sink you know if you You've got to love tall people in the house. Otherwise, it can be dropped down into the cabinet, and then you can put a marble or stone top on, on top of it. Right. And again, the Victoria Albert um, faucets. Beautiful finishes, and I should mention too about the bathtub, it does come in six colors. Now, oh, we really? have, yeah, can you imagine? We have not done a black matte bathtub. But a black matte bathtub, mm -hmm. some of that surround sound Karen Seeley was talking about, mm -hmm. and a glass of Cabernet, and I'm so happy. Just live there. Right? Just live there. Yeah. Just live there. Yeah. So happy. Yes. So Beautiful. Happy. Gorgeous, gorgeous ways to do it. Yeah. I think that, yeah, this is the important thing right yeah. here. It's nice and long. Exactly. 